Oh, we're talking about Belgium? No, 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 no. You go, what? Does that make sense? Well, that makes about as much sense as things going on in the market now because, oh, yes, 50% of it is up. Car sales are up. What else is up? Oh, wait, foreign markets are down. Well, for now, we're going to bring all the home comments on the headline of today. It's Monday, and the first market day of the month, as expected, auto sales are up. Home sales are up, durable goods orders are up, and consumer sentiment at new heights. I know. I mean, if any no one buys it because it, right, after, right after they made all of those great statements on Wall Street, they all tanked. I mean, the company that makes the uh, AMD chip has basically lost 50% of its value. Really? Uh, Morgan Stanley is in collapse. Uh, this at Bear Stearns is in collapse. I mean, all the financials are in collapse because Obama has decided to side with the people. He, uh, as I understand, he's going to meet and greet the people that are laying siege to Broadway now, to, uh, Mar to Wall Street, because he, he thinks that it's time that Wall Street comes to an end in this country. And Andy Rooney says goodbye on 60 Minutes in his last episode. He's like 90-some years old, folks. I know, he's been there, and actually they've been talking about him being paid the most for the shortest amount of time on. Yeah, you know, because, I mean, he comes in every day, sets and does nothing, and writes one piece a week. And for, that, that's about two minutes. For two minutes, yeah, and it's almost always got to be about him being old. And China's first space station, and what it means for America. Well, it means, you know, okay, Muslims don't believe in space travel. Obama is a Muslim. The only thing he wants to use is base, uh, use uh, NASA for is as an outreach to the Muslim world. And Obama can kill anyone he wants to. The president always could. The trick is, is that, you know, I, I mean, like I said, my favorite line from a Lee Marvin movie from The Dirty Dozen, when, uh, when, when Charles Bronson is complaining about he didn't do anything wrong, the SOB deserved it, and then Lee Marvin says, yes, but you got caught. Oh, yeah, that was the problem. Yeah, he got caught. You don't let people know you've done it, but see, he is in such a bad state uh, with the voters that he's trying to publicize it, and then all of a sudden they find out that it wasn't such a big day after all. After they after they did all of this, you know, we've done this, we've done that. Well, no, it just happened to be an opportunity, moment of opportunity, and we probably had nothing to do with it. Probably the people from Yemen hit the vehicle themselves, and only one of the people that Obama claimed killed got killed. So, and another PR disaster for the president. And sources, Chris Christie rethinking a White House run. And they said uh, that that he, he can't beat it because Obama will simply do nothing but show himself playing golf, out, out playing basketball, running, and Christie having to have two people help him get out of a chair. And, uh, Christie has no chance of running against Obama because they would rather have a guy that might look like he would live through the four years rather than one that might die sitting over a hamburger at McDonald's. And Michael Jackson judge called the attorney's interview shocking. Yeah, well, because what's happening is is that, um, I mean, I, I want to know how a judge could not know what the evidence was because the judge has all that stuff, you know, the their evidentiary stuff in front of him so he knows what to do so and then he's shocked by the fact that uh, that the, the doctor was hiding information from people and then the police told the judge and the and the paramedics told the judge and he didn't know about it before no. police arrest rival accused of killing hell's angels boss this is how they move up the, go go watch sons of anarchy on AMC and you'll see how they do that. Isn't that what, how they do changeovers? And yeah, it's, same yeah. Like, it's how they do changeover with dictators. If they don't die naturally, they sort of die unnaturally. Olympic swimmer changed the story on hit and run accident. Well, yeah, because he wasn't supposed to be out skateboarding. Well, that'll uh, do And he, he's going to miss the first set of swimming trials for the year. He's going to miss more than that because they're going to suspend him. The uh, police department spent the charge him with calling a false uh, crime report in Australia, which means he's not going to be on the Olympic team, period, because he's going to have a, a misdemeanor record now. Negativity toward Washington hits record levels. Well, yeah, I, I, here's the trick, it, folks. That the people that put the Republicans in power do not have a negative attitude towards the Republicans, other than the fact that they didn't actually cut any spending. 
but they, they're not upset that they're trying to stop spending. Uh, the, the trick is the Democrats want you to spend more money, and if 50% of the people are benefits of Obama's spending, you're always going to have a figure that shows they're unhappy with the Republican side. And Berkshire to launch surprise buyback plan. Yeah, but, uh, well, because they, they've got money they got to get rid of before Obama crushes them. And Strauss Kahn claims diplomatic immunity in lawsuit. Well, yeah, because he had diplomat, he shouldn't have been arrested to begin with, and he was. And uh, I mean, the woman can't win the lawsuit. He's not coming back to the United States. He's going to be the next president of France. So he, he wants to keep it going as long as he can because the only thing the French people are upset about is that this guy's so got, got so bad a taste in females. I know. <laughs> I know. It is like that's insulting to them. To the French, that is a real bad insult because generally if they ogle somebody, it's somebody cute and attractive. And Merkel risks rebellion on Euro Rescue Fund. Well, it's uh, it's Monday and it still hasn't been done because there is no desire by, uh, okay, France is broke, England is broke, Germany is now on the verge of being broke and she wants to raise, she wants to raise, you know what, they can't raise taxes on the people so they're going to put taxes on visitors and anybody coming into the country. Well, let's talk about how to kill your visitors. Well, they don't understand that because they will firmly, uh, Obama's people will firmly tell you yesterday, there is no record ever, uh, on, in all historical record, of tax hikes killing business. Mm -hmm. Go to Europe. I mean, it's everywhere where the ta new taxes are, the business is dying. And Greece to miss deficit targets despite austerity. Because the Greece, Greeks are blaming it on the fact that, uh, that nobody is coming to Greece to spend money on the tourism bit. Well, because they put a 20% tax on people coming to Greece to do, you know, you're not going to, the airlines are not going to come in because it's a valued added tax, which means they just keep hitting you with more. Oh, is that what so it is? So they're not going to come to Greece. They've killed the tourist industry in Greece because they can't raise taxes any higher than what they are. And Obama's health care law tops a new Supreme Court term. Yeah, you know, they figure, the problem, they said one judge, they got four for it and four against, I think Justice Kennedy who basically, he swings liberal, but he was appointed by uh, a Republican, and he is a big one on the Constitution of the United States. So the, they, they, the way it works is they understand that Obama wins no matter how the decision goes. If he gets it, he, uh, he, he gets victory and says, I've done this major accomplishment. If he doesn't get it, he said the Republican justices on the Supreme Court has cited it for political purposes against the only black president there's ever been. So he, he's in a no-lose position except for the fact that he then hands the election to the Republicans who are campaigning against Obamacare and constitutional rights. And Christy Whitehouse bid talks first obesity debate. Yeah, that's the thing. They, they said Obama, he, the guy is so big he has to occupy two seats. He's done nothing but gain weight since he became governor. He, he does nothing but eat, and they'll never elect this guy president. It's not going to happen. Yeah. He may be the right age category for elected, but so he talks well. They're still not going to elect him to be president of the United States because he's fat. And they'll, he'll say, well, it's again, you know, you're discriminating against fat people. No, they just don't want some guy. Because yeah, part of it is if you're in the office and you're not healthy, they don't know how long you're going to be in the office. I know. And then right. then, which means they'll be depending upon a vice president, and you know that would be Rubio. They assume would be the vice presidential nominee because he doesn't have to run for office. Well, you know, if he gets a good VP candidate, you never know. Yeah, you know, I said I love but that. Usually, it's like if, if somebody's what too old, the McCain's problem. Yeah. Too fat. Which is Christie's problem. I mean, and, those and, are some of the reasons people won't elect somebody. And they're never going to elect another, they'll never elect another black man to the office of the presidency of this nation. Yeah. Because they'll say, well, you know what we got with Obama. That's right. And if you elect another black man to this office, he's going to just simply try to take it out on everybody. Mm -hmm. And a great haircut to kick start growth. I always like, yeah, I don't think so. But what it is, though, it, that's not what it sounds. It's a haircut has to do with terms on a stock market. Are you serious? Yeah, they basically did some, they did what they're calling, they did some trimming of, uh, of some, they, they downsized businesses, and by downsizing businesses, they figured they can make the business grow more, which never works because, I mean, 
I've never seen a business that downsized other than AT&T grow. Oh, really? Yeah, AT&T basically ended up buying back all the pieces that they had before, so... And quick time to shine with the new Apple iPhone. Uh, yeah, but I, I, the Apple iPhone, as I understand, is basically... Okay, we didn't get the invite there. Actually, we don't go to San Francisco, but they're, 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 they're debuting the new iPhone tomorrow, but it's being debuted without, uh, with, you know, without... Uh, the you know the company head anymore, and they don't think they could that they're going to be able to do that good a sell Here's job. Here's part of without Steve. I mean, the company is Stephen Jobs. Okay. Yeah, and without, without him, without him, it doesn't work. So, and a Monty bubble is up from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. I know. I love this. One. You're never too old to make changes in your life, but most are too stubborn by the time they get to my age to do it. 